Hello. Today I'm going to discuss a uh, angular momentum topic. It is very important in quantum mechanics as well as classical mechanics also. Topic name is angular momentum. So angular momentum is a uh, just important in quantum mechanics as uh, it is in classical mechanics it is very useful for studying in dynamics of systems that moves under the influence of the symmetrical uh, sorry spherical symmetrics or uh, central potential as for in, in classical mechanics the orbital angular momentum of the systems are conserved the angular momentum plays a crucial role in the description of the many things such as the molecular rotation in motion of electrons in atoms the motion of uh, Nucleons in the nucleus. Nucleons in nucleus. So this is the molecular physics, atomic physics, and nucleus. Let us try to understand the uh, angular momentum. So this is one axis. From this axis, here I'm going to place uh, at a distance r. Uh, A distance are replaced here on mass. This is the mass m. It is moving with velocity v. It has some velocity and it moving with velocity v this direction. So momentum in this direction p is equal to m v. Then the angular momentum will generate this direction l equal to r cross v. Right? So the l equal to angular momentum l equal to r cross t so the orbital angular momentum operator denoted by the l right so this r cross p means what's r cross p that is a l is a perpendicular to the plane formed by these two vectors which means plane formed by the position vector and momentum vector is the perpendicular and we can try to write this thing like this l equal to r cross p i can express i j a and this one is x y z this p x p y and p z and try to write these things in terms of Cartesian coordinates. Therefore, L equal to, um, <coughs> can write like this, right? Y, PZ minus uh, Z, PY. This is I plus Z, PX minus x p z this is j plus k right x p y minus y p x this is k so therefore the l x orbital angular momentum along the x component is the y p z minus z p y L y component is Z P X minus X P Z P Z okay L Z component is X P Y minus Y P X. So these are the <coughs> Cartesian components of orbital angle. 
So here position and momentum operators are there. We know the quantum mechanics we can use them. Position operator like this is position operator. In momentum operator we can write minus i h cross so d by into by to x next component momentum next component in case if you try to put here the momentum component and momentum operator and the position operator the equations are like this l x equal to minus i h cross and this is y place of p z rho by dou z minus z rho by dou y l y equal to minus i h cross z rho by dou x minus x rho by dou z l z component equal to minus i h cross x rho by dou y minus y so by two x. So these are the Cartesian components of orbital angular momentum. So the orbital angular momentum uh, we will examine this orbital angular momentum in the various properties of the angular momentum operators and then focus it on the determining its eigenvalues and eigenstates and finally uh, we will apply this uh, formalism to determination of the eigenvalues eigenvectors of the spin and the orbital angular momentum operator so for that we need to uh, study the properties of uh, orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum is generated by x uh, l x l by l z right and the total angular momentum j can be expressed uh, jx to jy so we need to study these properties and computational relations then we are going to try to apply these uh, operators on the spin off systems and, uh, and orbital angular momentum components then we can by uh, using these operators we can generate the eigen values and eigen states of this uh, spin off systems orbital angular momentum so let us try to uh, explain computational relations so in this topic the first is the first property the computational relations are there so let us try to explain first computation relations okay so we know already the position and momentum computation relations so first for example position and momentum is the momentum component along the x axis okay. so i'm going to try to explain these computational relations so generally you know the computational relation brackets like this right a comma b equal to we express a b minus b so these are the computation relations and try to explain these things the x this one is uh, px i'm going to write this px in terms of uh, operators quantum mechanical operators minus i h cross do by do x right already minus is there and uh, here minus i h cross do by do x into x so this is the expansion right so here do by do x of one is equal to zero this term and here minus is there here minus is there then plus d by dx of x that is one so that equal to i got here i h cross so this is the x comma px commutation relation so similarly we can we can derive this y and p y component the computational relations so i h cross and uh, z and p z 
the i h cross these are the computation relations just for practice uh, you just try to derive these relations y p x and z p x and the x p z uh, next i am going to take this one to orbital length you know the l x comma l y the commutation relations so we can try to write these things l x l y minus l y l x right we know the l x cartesian coordinate components already these are the cartesian coordinate component right y p z minus z p y then i'm going to try to write these things first then i can explain step by step So here I'm using the square bracket. This not a square bracket. Uh, L Y Cartesian coordinate component Y P Z minus Z P Y. Right. Sorry. Just wait. No need to extend this one. Okay. So directly you can take this. Then you can put here square bracket. Okay. L X L Y. So L X component is Y P Z Z P Y. Comma. L Y component is Z P X minus X P Z. Okay. That equal to. So we can simplify this thing. And multiply this term into the these two terms uh, we can get y p z comma z p x minus x p z so this is one compound then minus z p y comma z p x minus x p z okay then we can write these things this one is y p z z p x the first step and y p z minus minus is there uh, y p z comma x p z here minus is there minus z p y comma z p x minus into minus plus then you can get plus here and z p y comma x p z x p z so here i'm going to write this y out of the bracket y this is p z <coughs> this is z and px minus y pz comma x pz minus from this term z i'm going to write outside the bracket py comma z px plus x z comma pz into p these two terms are zero right because uh, p z comma z computation relation is zero and these are also the zero the remaining two terms this is minus i h cross this is plus i h cross okay then y minus i h cross into p x plus x i h cross into p y then here i am writing here like this uh, x p y minus y p x so this is the z component i h cross l z 
so l x comma l y commutation relations are i h cos l z similarly in case if you try to solve other components for example l y l z you can get i h cross y z x l x l z l x you can get i h cross l y if you interchange this portion l y here l x here then you can get minus i h cross l z and similarly l z here l y here then you can get minus i h cross l x l x here l z here you got minus i h cross l y so this is l x l y and l z if you follow this rule then you can get plus i h cross okay this cyclic in case if you not follow this cyclic uh, rule then you can get minus i h cross okay since lx ly lz do not commit right so we cannot measure them simultaneously accurately and one more relation subject that is so here try to solve each and every communicate is come to algebra relation these are very important lx gate net example also these are very important so this is x l x y p z minus z t e y so if you try to solve this equation this is x right t e y p z minus x comma z p y so you got it zero this one is So this is a zero next uh, x component l y component x the ly is a lyz zpx minus x pz then the x component comma zpx minus the x uh, comma xpz so therefore this is x px Z and uh, now this is a uh, X P Z to X. So this one is zero, right? Then this is Z. This is I H cross I H cross. So therefore, X comma L Y component commutation relations Z I H cross Z. X and L by R do not come. Similarly, you can try this thing L Y and uh, X, L Y and X, I H cross Z. So P X comma L X equal to zero, and uh, X comma L Y equal to I H cross T Z. Then important uh, derivation is there. Is it? Uh, X comma L square. 
that equal to x this l square component we can write l x square plus l y square plus l z square so l x square plus l y square plus l z square so that equal to x comma l x square plus x comma l y square plus x comma l z square so we know distributive formula a comma b a comma b c right that equal to we can write this one a comma b into c plus a comma c to be this is the distributive property right by using this property we can extend this one distributive property for example this is lx comma lx plus this one is a x this is ly and ly plus and x lz and lz so if you apply this distributive property then this thing uh, this you get two times this you get two times this you get two times total six terms six terms so l x x comma l x right plus x comma l x into l x plus l y x comma l y plus x comma l y into l y plus l z x comma l z plus x comma l z into l z okay x l x angular momentum does not exist in the uh, one dimension right exists in two dimension this zero this is zero right and this is zero x l y x and l y what is x and l y i h cross z okay so this is zero this is zero plus l y z this is the i h cross z x y this is also i h cross z this is x z x z opposite direction is it so minus i h cross y this is also opposite direction minus i h cross y. so i'm going to add these all this i h cross z and plus i h cross z l y plus sorry minus uh, okay minus uh l z uh i h cross y minus i h cross y l z so try to common i h cross the x x l square x l square is equal to uh i h cross l y z first step plus z l y minus l z y minus y l z so you can try this p x comma l square value The next one is the uh, 
next computation properties l square with the lx ly and lz component the computation relations of l square so l square with lx l so first i'm going to try lz so l square we can express in terms of component l square x l y square plus l z square from lz okay so same thing what we discussed in about procedure is l square comma l z next l y square comma l z plus l z square comma l z so apply distributive property l x this is l x comma l z plus l x comma l z into l x plus l y l y comma l z plus l y comma l z into l y plus l z into l z comma z plus l z comma z into l z so last two terms are zero right so this is uh, this is zero l z and z is zero l z and z zero l x uh, l y l z so this is i h cross l y z x y z i h cross l x this is x z opposite direction minus i h cross l y this is l x l z x z opposite direction right? minus i h cross l y so final thing is l x l x minus okay try to write it minus i h cross l x l y minus i h cross l y l x plus i h cross l y l x plus i h cross l x l y plus zero plus zero so these are all cancelled back the remaining thing is zero so l square l z computation relation is zero so similarly we can say that uh, l square l y equal to zero l square comma l z equal to zero so the square of angular momentum commits with its component so the total angular momentum can be measured simultaneously with any one component that is the meaning of in case if it is not commit you cannot measure uh, nothing will be accurate accurately so, so these are all the commutation relations and properties of orbital angular moment